Let's talk about how I got $3,000 a year via my honor society involvement. Involvement? I can talk. (laughs) Uh, Do you want to get a chunk of money as well from not a lot of involvement in an honor society? That's a huge return on investment. I shall tell you how in this quick tip today. Hey girl, welcome to Money and Mental Peace, a podcast for Christian college girls who are done with feeling overwhelmed by the weight of student loans, cramming for the next exam, and oh yeah, trying to figure out God's calling for your life. I get it. Don't worry, I got you. I know exactly how you feel. I'm Kara, a recovering overachiever and debt-free college graduate, and I'm going to help you find peace to quiet your racing thoughts. You will walk away equipped to bust anxiety, walk in God's purpose for your life, and even graduate college debt-free. So come on and enroll in the most stress-free and debt-free class you've ever attended, Money and Mental Peace. Grab your cold brew and TI-89 because class is now in session. Hey guys. Okay, today's going to be just kind of a quick tip on how to... Um, be leveraging these honor society scholarships. So let's say you've been invited to join an honor society at your high school or college. Okay. Does the notoriety draw you in, resume building or networking, or maybe you have too much going on and you just want to skip it? Wait a second. (laughs) Let me tell you how I received 30, not 30, $3,000 a year in scholarship money based on my involvement in an honor society. Actually, very, very, very little involvement, to be honest with you. Um, Maybe it will help in your decision. So it was fall 2017. I received a letter after acquiring a certain amount of credits and a good GPA, um, a letter that was inviting me to participate in Phi Theta Kappa, or PTK for short, which is an honor society for community colleges. So the dues were quite reasonable, something like $30 for the national involvement. Um, and actually, the community college paid for my local chapter view, v- views, dues. Sometimes words don't work, um, or vice versa. I'm not sure. I think they paid for the local chapter one. Anyways, I found out that many scholarships were available to members. And I did not even have to be actively involved. Now, I did go to a couple meetings. I think I might have done like one thing with them. But I didn't have to actively um, add a bunch onto my calendar from doing that. So just a heads up, it could be very advantageous for you to join that honor society, even if like you don't have a lot of time to do much. Of course, it depends on what the requirements are, like if you're supposed to commit so much time or effort, but since I could just join this thing, it was it was pretty awesome. So like literally, honestly, I could have just joined and sat back and looked for scholarships. And, you know, maybe you can do that if you're short on time. So PTK at the college that year took the form of an organized club, um, but Like I said, I didn't do too much. (laughs) Excuse me. But anyways, nationally, uh, the um, Phi Theta Kappa usually hosts a large scholarship application each year with a rigorous essay process that I applied for that December. So two students from each college were then chosen to represent their school at the luncheon in like March of that next year at the state capitol. So after a kind of long application, I was one of the students chosen to represent our school. That was also probably because there weren't a lot of people who did it from our school. So um, if you go to a kind of a smaller school and a community college, and even if they have Phi Theta Kappa, it might be totally advantageous. Or, you know, another honor society of sorts that you're in. But really any honor society that you're in, if there's even the terms honor society, there's probably scholarships related to it. So there at the dinner, we received a plaque and a medal, um, like signifying our achievement within being a part of the society. And also several lucky students would win scholarships based off of their applications. 
So I it was cool. I even got to sit by my school's president, talk with him, and they had a cool little buffet. But besides the point, I did not win any of the scholarships. Okay, so why am I doing an episode on this when I didn't win any? Well, it turns out that PTK came in handy about a year later. While applying for Eastern Michigan University, I found that they provided a $3,000 per year scholarship <clears throat> for PTK alumni. So I gratefully, mind you, shaved thousands of dollars off of my university tuitions, all thanks to this honor society in which I didn't even have to be super involved. So <laughs> here, here you have it. If, you, if you're at a community college that offers this, is usually very advantageous, um, whether it's scholarships that you're working toward in, um, like, working towards through that society, or you get the scholarship through your school, but because you are a part of it. It really just depends. And again, I've mentioned this before, but it's always good to ask. So I inquired about, I had heard of this PTK scholarship at my university. Um, and so I inquired about it because they didn't just tell me offhand, oh, and you get this too, because students don't always know to report that they had been in some honor society in the past. But I saw that there was the opportunity, so I pursued it. And then I got $3,000 a year. So don't forget to politely bug people. <laughs> Let's just say this. And of course, if there's a society you want to be a part of that takes a lot of time and effort and you want to do it, that's awesome too. There were some scholarships in this application process that could only be applied to if you were like an officer in the club at your school. I just didn't do those. But don't just immediately throw away a piece of paper that's asking you to be a part of something. Um, because honestly, anything that you're quote unquote a part of in college could potentially turn into scholarship money. So there's just a little quick tip for you. I hope you guys have a fantastically awesome Monday and let me know if you have any questions. Send me a DM or email me at info at moneyandmentalpeace.com. Again, that is info at moneyandmentalpeace.com if you want to talk with me about um, finding honor societies near you, near you <clears throat> or going through their big scholarship applications. I can, of course, not do the work for you, but I can go through that sort of stuff with you. So let me know. I would love to connect, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Hey, girl. Okay, so before you run off to calculus, if this podcast has brought you any encouragement, would you please write a review on iTunes or take a screenshot, post it in your Insta stories, and tag me. Let's tell the rest of our stressed sisters that more money and peace can be attained outside of the conventional way of doing college. See you next time. Love and prayers, Kara. Guys, don't forget what I mentioned in the last episode. The first five people to email me this coming month, January, or the rest of the month, January 2022 will get a free hour of coaching with me and we can go over any of the stuff in this episode or anything that you're frustrated with, with paying for college or um, figuring out how to handle your anxiety. I'm not a social worker, therapist, let me be clear, but just like we can talk about stuff that I've done in the past. Um, anyways, so email me at info at moneyandmentalpeace.com and we'll get you set up. And if you're listening to this probably after January of this year, um, still reach out to me. I'm sure I'll periodically do sales and stuff, and I'd love to connect with you. Have a great day.